Hey guys, so I've got a broken Xbox 360 and it's got a hard drive on it, 20 gigabyte one. So I thought, well I'm not really going to use it anymore, probably not going to fix it. And the hard drive isn't going to sell much, only about two or three pounds. Why not make it into an external hard drive for my computer? So I basically did that and I'm going to show you a video tutorial on how to do it. So what you're going to want first is a torque screwdriver. Now it will have a star nosed pin on it and this will allow you to then undo the Xbox 360 hard drive enclosure. So here's the hard drive and I've actually already taken it apart. Basically you want to unscrew on each hole, there's four of them. You've got one under the Microsoft seal, one here, one here and one here. Once you do that you'll be able to prise this open. Now there may be a few more screws underneath here, I'm not too sure but it's pretty simple to do. And then once you've done that, you'll notice that the hard drive is in this part here and it'll be connected to a SATA connector. All you have to do is just unplug this from the hard drive and slide the hard drive out. Now, once you've done that, you just have the hard drive. All you want to do is just get hold of the hard drive enclosure from eBay or Amazon, doesn't matter where. You can get these for about £4, they're pretty cheap. And this is what mine looks like. So I've already placed mine in, but let me just take this apart and I'll show you what you have to do. All you have to do is literally get the hard drive here, slide it in so it slots into the SATA connector here, and then you've just got to screw it in here, the four pins that are provided. Here, here, and here. And it's really that simple. And just pop it back together. And then you've got your USB connector here, and all you do is just plug that into the computer. Just wait for it to load up. Now, you'll see that I can safely eject it here, and it's being shown here. However, if you go into my computer, it will not actually show at all. So, what we have to do is, we have to go into Control Panel, System Security. Now, I am on Windows 8.1, it may be a bit different on Windows XP set and 7 and Vista, um, but it'll be fairly the same. So, you want to go into System and Security, scroll down and you want to go to Administrative Tools. <clears throat> Now, what you want to do next is create and format hard disk partition. So you click on that. So the reason it's not being shown is because it hasn't been assigned yet and a simple volume hasn't been created. So this is what we're doing now. So it will come up, it should just show up for you like this. And yes, that is correct, it's disk 8 for me, which is the hard disk. So just leave it as this and press OK. Right, once that's done, you just want to look for the hard drive. So just double check, you don't want to mess around with any other hard drives you have so you'll see that it will say unallocated and there is my 18.63 gigabytes of data which is unused it's 20 gigabyte hard drive however that's actually how much it really is so what you want to do is right click on this and click on new simple volume so once you've done that just go through the wizard click on next next I'll assign I will assign W to it. Right, and we'll go next. And then, yep, this is all fine. Next, and finish. Just wait for it to do this. And there you have it. All you have to do is exit that. I'll just show you. Go on this PC. And there it is, new volume W. Now you can just copy and drag data onto it very easily. For example, there you go. Get rid of that. And that is all guys, that's all you got to do. And now you'll have an external hard drive. Now for the internal version, all you have to do is plug it into the SATA cable and power cable connected inside your computer. And then you basically do exactly what I've just done. Because it'll be the same procedure. Cheers guys, I hope you enjoyed that video.